Hello everyone, this is Naomi and today I'll be talking about Monsoon, a film I watched at Inside Out Film Festival, a film festival for LGBTQ slash queer films. My film reviews will be in four parts. First is a warning, second is Asian counts, third is reviews without spoilers, and lastly, four reviews with spoilers. Okay, part one, warnings. There's some nudity. And alcohol consumption and mention of wars and mental health so just letting you know two Asian count before I go into the actual Asian count the reason that I do this is because I personally think that Asian people are not represented well in the media and because you know I was born and raised in Japan I just want to bring awareness to it that's why I do this with that being said this film was shot in Vietnam and honestly 90% of the cast members are Asian. I think I only saw like two white actors. When it comes to diversity, like Asian count, this is what I want, baby. This is what I want. Good diversity. Loved it. And I realized that I completely forgot to bring up the question of how do y'all feel about someone who doesn't have the background of the character they're portraying playing the role? So Henry Golding is not Vietnamese. Henry identifies himself as a straight man. I have mixed feelings about this topic, so I want to know what y'all think. Maybe I will make a video on it one day. But yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section, please. Okay, so part three, reviews without spoilers. I have one major complaint about this film. One major complaint that I can't just let it slide. There are two scenes where Kit, played by Henry Golding, says, yo, Vietnam's really hot, you know, like he's indicating that like he's sweating his ass off. There's no sweat dripping down his gorgeous cheekbone or just no sweat stain. He was dry as Sahara Desert. Why is Henry Golding not wet? That kind of came out wrong. Sorry. But yeah, it, that was just, I was furious. The reason that I decided to watch this film at Inside Out is because I watched the director's first like feature film, Lil Tang, and my Twitter friend actually recommended Lil Tang to me because she loves Ben Wishaw, and she's like, this film's really great. So I watched it, I loved it, and I told her about it, and she's like, yeah, I know the director has a new movie called Da Monsoon that's coming out hopefully soon. And then I checked uh, Inside Out, just like, you know, out of curiosity, and Inside Out had it, so I was like, here I come. So I had high expectations and I don't want to compare films because every film's like distinct and has their own narrative. So I feel like I shouldn't really comparing the films, but I'm not gonna lie. It was a bit underwhelming, but I didn't hate it. It was really calm, nuanced, very subtle film, which I actually wasn't a huge fan of. So the film is about how wars can affect so many people even after the generations that were directly hit by the war. It's about the kids of those generations and how psychologically, physically, and just in every aspect, war can affect, change, take life, or just alter people's lives. But it's very nuanced and it kind of feels a bit diluted. And I understand that the director didn't want that as a focal point of the film. It's kind of about like losing your childhood and not being connected to where you're from, whether you want it or not. And it is about the past, the tradition, and the future, and the current. But I wish there were more of the conversations or elements to be substantially there. I feel like I'm ranting a bit. I'm not saying that like, oh no, I didn't get it. I appreciate it. And I know that the director didn't want to go to that direction, but I feel like it held back a bit too much. It was a calm film. But I don't understand why they call it Monsoon, because for me, Monsoon is just like really hard rain. But the movie is just like really this flowing river kind of thing. There's no like big hit in the face kind of moment. So I just want to know like why the director named this film Monsoon. Yo Hong, if you're watching this, please let me know. Another complaint is that I feel like the energy put in acting didn't match necessarily. Henry did a great job, but other cast members, sometimes I was just like, 
is this like intentional or like what happened? So it didn't feel a bit cohesive when it comes to the energy put in acting. But you know what? We need more queer film. Queer film is essential like The Inside Out said. I'm not, I don't hate it. I think it's an important film. I feel like this is a representation that we need, but it, it's not the greatest. That's my review without spoilers from this point. I will spill some tea and everything, so you're, you're, you're ready. Okay, so part four, review with spoilers. There's this one scene that hit me so hard. So he's on the train, he's smoking, he's in the like smoking area, and this French guy, white guy, comes and he judges Kit's character by appearance, and he, the French guy thinks that he doesn't speak English, so he's like talking to kit in this like broken like really so like do you understand english <laughs> and kit's just like nah bro i forgot the question what the question was but kit's just like and the french guy's just like oh shit he speaks english i experienced that in my life not actually like do you understand english but more like do you understand japanese like back when i was living in japan because people thought that i was like 100 white i'm not so, I was just like... I understand the French guy's like, why he did that, but it's just like, oh yeah. That scene was my favorite. Another thing that I like this film is just like, it was real. Going back to the country where you were born and you grew up with, but you had to leave. And you're just like, I remember, but like, I don't speak the language, I kind of forget it because my parents like didn't really teach me and you know like I had to assimilate to the British like practices and the way that they lived their lives kind of thing so kids character not being able to speak like good Vietnamese and visiting places that he remembers but it's just like oh wow it's changing it's kind of becoming like modernized and everything that I understand the feeling and I think they did a good job, but it's very nuanced. It is very nuanced. Like he says it like openly and everything, and you can see it through Kit's, you know, facial expressions and like eyes, but I just wanted a bit more. Am I saying that because I'm like too familiar with like North American like right in your face films, but I really like the character Lynn, who's a museum guide in Hanoi, whom Kit actually visits in Hanoi and her family is in um, lotus flower business which is declining because it's like traditional and like no one drinks it anymore blah 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 Lynn actually invites Kit to make tea one day like that scene was beautiful and it's about the beauty of the tradition but how the tradition is changing how the time is changing how our mindset are changing and some people are trying to preserve it but other people are like mm, it's not like efficient or anything so yeah that scene was beautiful and I connected to that character a lot also like finding resting place for your family member is really difficult and you want to honor them but you know the difficult relationship they had with that nation that they were born in so to be confused and like going after every spy that might mean something to you you're doing that for them but at the same time like it's for yourself as well because you think you've done the last job to honor them right so to see kid just like where should i go next where will be the best place getting lost and realizing that he's lost the connection to the land that he was born in is a, was a, was powerful. Anyways, that was my review. Inside Out is great. I'll be attending Inside Out next year as well. Hopefully in person because I'm kind of being done with online screenings at this moment. And like they said, queer films are essential. So I'm really glad I had an opportunity to see this film at Inside Out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments, leave it in the description below. And I'll be talking about Shiba Baby and Spiral that I saw at this film festival. And I have other reviews coming up, very exciting ones. Yeah, so subscribe, hit that bell notification button, leave a like. And did I already say to leave comments? In? I suck at being a YouTuber. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Okay, stay safe. Bye, kids. Mm -hmm.